What's up my ninjas, it's the Hunting Mana Gamer, welcome back. What's more, let's play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Last time, uh, we went to Far Outpost and we had to get permission from Gold Bob and General White. We have one piece of the puzzle, we got we got it from General from Gold Bob, but now we have to now we're on this wild goose chase to find General White. And he said he was headed off to some huge tree. So me and if you don't know what that means, uh, it means he went to uh Bogley Woods. I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, we made it to the tree. I'm gonna go inside. Talk to this guy. Welcome to the Great Tree. Eh? General White? Yeah, he's an old Bob on me. With this, with this great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. Ugh, see, we have to go to Twilight Town to find him. But, before we do that, I want to show you something real quick. Uh, you talk to Petuni. Uh, ask to play a game with him. Sure. And the game is called Stump Petuni. You have to... We have to... Ask me any question I... Any question you want. There isn't a question I can't answer. So... Yeah, create an easy question for Petuni to answer. So, you go... Mario likes... Which person the most? The person that Mark's li Mario likes the most? I know that. You can't stump Petuni. Mario likes Princess Peach the most. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And you get this... And you get this mystic egg. It, um, it acts the same as a mushroom. You get uh, 5 HP from it. But now... We head back... Over to Twilight Town. I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, here we are in Twilight Town. So, let's talk to the people. Yeah. No. So, my suggestion would be to talk to the mayor. Does he, he lives here, right? Right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, General White. Yeah, I know the old guy. He's an old bomb mom, right? He was here until recently. What? Where did he go? What am I? What am I, a secretary? He looked tired. I I know that. All right. So we had to go back to uh, Far Outpost and tell him that we couldn't find General Bobbery. I mean, not General Bobbery. General White. Uh. So I'll meet you guys over at Far Outpost. All right, we couldn't find General White no matter how much we tried, so let's talk to him. What? You cannot find General What? <sighs> All right, so remember what that guy said when he went to, he, he was looking tired. So we come into his house. He's asleep. Yeah, so we gotta wake him up. <laughs> now, who are you? I am tired. Do not. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep. As it all, as it is all hopeless. Uh -huh. Huh, what? That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even. What? What? I have been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring that cannon back online. I had lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at wit's end, and then the Rogueport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the red M hat, well technically it's green, the one with the hammer and the stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. What? You need to use a cannon to help you save the entire world? Hip hip hurrah! That fortune teller was right! So what are we waiting for? I shall get the cannon ready and go- So go tell the mayor! Now get moving, hut hut! Alright, so, we go tell the mayor. So, the cannon's back online. Well, I should just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys through the moon. Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez! Now, you follow me. 
You come this way. So we follow him. Now you stand here. Okay. General White, is Big Bob Bomb Cannon ready? Hut, leave it to me. Now, nah, man, you know the drill. Load the Big Bob Bomb Cannon. Ho, ho, up, boom. Now, position is everyone. Yes, sir. Bring guidance system online. Bringing system online. System now online. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare for detonation sequence. Open outer hatch. Open inner shutter. Elevate on my mark. Sighting, target is the moon. Direction, 75.38. Elevation, 54, 54.66. Range, 38, 38.9603. Wind speed, 1.08. Correction direction, 3.03. .03. Correct elevation, negative 2.39. Target locked. Chamber hatch open. Now, everyone in! Close chamber hatch. It's crowded in here, boom. Stop pushing, bazoom. Ow, ow, ow. You're on my foot, ba boom. It's tight in here, boom. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. <laughs> Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big bomb cannon, fire! I could insert a Team Rocket joke there. I probably will. Good luck, Mario. Wow! Whoa, that was awesome! Man, who knew Adventures got to do stuff like that? Whoa, we're really, truly no fooling on the moon! Let's rock out, Gonzalez. Let's find that last crystal star and say Peach! Alright, so... On the moon. You find a lot of cracks here. Use Bobbery. And you move a lot slower on the moon. Because there's less gravity. I think I'm going to speed this part up just a bit. Because it takes a little while. A 
okay, it's a good thing that it doesn't affect, uh, doesn't affect battles. Alright, this new enemy, the... It's a moon class. They're a lot stronger than the regular class we've seen before. But the way to defeat them is a lot... It's always the same. Go a little faster with Adam Cole. I'm still gonna speed this part up. How come they get to? How come they move? They move at normal speed. Well, we have to go through. Well, we have to go all slow, like. All right. So over here, you come in here. Rather suspicious building, would you say, old boy? Do be careful, eh? So. We have no idea where exactly where we are. Uh, who's that dude? Whoa, that's Mario. So let's get him. All right, guys. Not the best. Not the best. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah! Mario, old boy, since, this, since these Exynos ruffians are about, yes, I'm quite sure of it, the Crystal Star must be here as well. Our dear Peach must be here too, you say, wouldn't you say? Let's find her, old boy. <laughs> Alright, so, we're at the Exynos Fortress, where, uh, they, where they're actually keeping Peach. Uh, so there's not really much to... Oh, hold on. So like I was saying, this is the x Not Fortress. And in this room, it's a very special room. You have to follow the air... You have to follow the light, otherwise that'll happen. Okay. You get an elevator key. I'm over here. Super shroom. I'll get them. Get rid of the egg. There are a lot of rooms like that all over the fortress. So my suggestion is just pay attention. 
Alright, let's go to sub level 1. And start from there. Okay, so let's see what we have in here. Uh. Oh, we read this. Gears under repair. So, we can't do anything unless until we get the gears for this for this machine. And I just realized something. I really haven't shown off Miss Mouse in battle yet. So, I'm gonna take the time to do that right now. Alright, so her first attack is a love slap. I just repeatedly left and right as fast as she can. Yeah, nothing really too special. Ouch. Yeah, that's her tease move, but you can't, uh, what you have to do is you can't, um, make the... Yeah, what was I saying? You can't make the gauge go over. Yeah, I got tired of him. I wasn't using Miss... I was, I didn't plan on using Miss Mouse again. So you can't really do much else on this floor, so let's head out, let's head out to the second floor. Oh! So we head in here. Yeah, this was the room where Peach uh, turned invisible. So we head in here. Alright, so, you see that, see that map on the wall? You have to follow that. So, you go here, here, here. I think here, yes. Up, up. I don't know if you can see it, but the uh, the pattern on the floor is kind of different from the others. So we got a card key there. Sleepy sheep. Uh, Sleepy sheep's not really gonna do anything for me right now, so I'm gonna not take it. All right, uh... Ah! Oh! Okay. So, let's see what else there is to see. Uh, in here? Uh, nothing. Oh! Uh, so we come in here. Swing jump. And then over here... Come over here. Okay, there's the... You have one of two options. Like before, you can use... You can use Koops or the... Or your Yoshi. That's going to be important for later. Not now, but later. All right, we got our, uh... Uh, okay, after that fight, you come in here, this is Grotus's lair, but he's not here. We get this. And there's nothing really else more to do in here. So 
So let's head back. Let's head back downstairs. Okay, I meant to say back. Uh, ba I meant to say back upstairs, but I meant I said back downstairs by accident. So sorry. So you insert the cog there. And you press these buttons. Uh, yeah, there's a proper order. I just guessed. And here we have the crane game. Okay. Give me the star piece. Yes! 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 Funny isn't that how I was funny isn't it that how, that was one try. Uh So that's pretty much for you can get all sorts of goodies and stuff in there. And in here There's a password, but we don't know the password. So we really can't do so we really can't do anything else on this floor until we get the password. Let's head back up to level one. Alright, uh so we come in here. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you come in here and today's code is 014029. Do not forget it. So remember that, 014029. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I've, I actually didn't, I actually didn't read this. I actually didn't read this part, I just guessed on it. But this part, uh, 014029. So we head back up to that, um, place that we need the access code. All right, here we are. So we enter the access code. Where are the numbers at? Zero. Oops. Oh, I almost got- I thought I almost got that wrong. I thought I got it wrong for a second. Alright, so we're coming here. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can get access to the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat it to me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine, you hear me? Mine! So what do you say? Challenge this chump. Mm-hmm, hoo-hoo, ha-ha, you're mine now. And here we go, folks, the main event, the 66th annual Quirk Quiz. Yeah, yeah, we, we've done this before. Exactly what's hidden here. Elevator key. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, you're correct, crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do so well on this next one, I guarantee that. Question two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting for Koos' return? Well, let's see. Let's look at these answers. Petuni is, uh, is, um, puny from the Bogley Forest. Marilyn is the... Frick. Marilyn is the one of the Shadow Sirens. Flavio is the ca captain, so it has to be Koopy Koo. Yeah, that's right. Yep, yep, yep. All you can do is just basically process of elimination. Goomba, Lava, Bubba, Buzzy, Beetle, Boo. How many feet do they have to have total? Let's see. Uh, Goomba has two feet. Lava, Bubba has zero. Buzzy, Beetle has four. And Boo has zero. So six. So two plus four. Two plus zero plus four plus zero is six. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Question four. In elementary for non-idiots, where was the di where was the one and only Diamond Star? So. 
it was the silk it was the silver star. Remember that remember the star? That was the hooktail's stomach. Ah, you're correct, you jerk! You've already gotten four correct? You're kidding me! Well fine, I'm gonna toss an extra one extra hard one your way. You happy now, sucker? Alright, question five. What was the name of the the very first champion of the Glitzville Arena? So, if you don't remember this, it's from um it's the the secretary's own brother, Prince Mush. Prince Mush. No, co correct. Yep, five correct answers. I'm so mad right now. I can hardly see straight. I lose. I lose. Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. <laughs> Elevator key. So we can use this elevator key to uh, go to the go to one of the other use one of the other elevators. Ah, ugh. I didn't mean to do that. I'll meet you guys on sub level two. So we made it to the elevator. Let's check out sub level three. So we come in here. Uh, so like I was saying, we come in here. And then and for this one, you have to follow. You have to follow the arrow. You have to follow the light. Alright, we get a car key. So we're all done with this room. Uh, I, uh. Alright, after that battle, we come in here. There are three key cards you have to put in. And we have and we do have all three. Okay, so uh that in here, that in here, that in here. That opens up. Come in here. All right. So. Okay. So after that battle, I leveled up. So we. So we're in here. So what you have to do in here is you have to use Bobbery. Oh. And that thing moves the floor. I think there's a safe lock around here somewhere. Because I'm just I'm just running out of time to. I don't see it. It's around here somewhere, that I know. There's a little bit of platforming you have to do. I mean, if you decide to, there's an Ultra Shroom up there. I think I'm gonna go for it. Ugh! Yeah, if you fall this... If you fall off, it'll uh, start you all the way back over here. I'm gonna speed this part up again.
for two seconds. If you're curious, if you're curious about what's over here, um. So he's and the make stairs. All right, but how do we get there? We have coming up these stairs. Only guides us to a, another door, but we can't go through the door yet. And I swear, there's a, I swear, there's a, um, what's it called? There is a, what's it called? Oh, I, okay, I see it. I, th I think I know where it's at. Over here, yes! Okay, finally, I can say this. We're out. We are all. We were out of time like a while ago, but we are definitely out of time. So next time on Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door, we finally go on. We finally go forth to find the seventh crystal star located in the X Not Hideout. See you guys then.